Hi, I'm Alan R and this is Motor Matters, your favorite channel for everything motoring in South Africa. Now, before we talk the car we're looking at today, let's talk changecars.co.za. That is the website where you can find your next car with total peace of mind because they only list cars from franchise dealers. And once you've found that car, click on the button that says Discover Insure and you can organize your insurance as well. That's changecars.co.za. We're out on the open road in the Marmer Street type area, so Western Cape. And Laurie Smith, my buddy from Ride and Drive, is behind the camera. How's it, Laurie? Good in yourself. Good to drive with you again, Al. Like a man, hey. I, I, you know what? People are going to start talking about us at this rate, eh? I'm telling you, hey. For sure. Two old farts. Two old farts spending so much time together. Correct. <laughs> Good pal, man. You're my buddy, that's why. Yeah. And I trust your driving. That's the more important part. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, we're in the new Urban Cruiser. Correct, from Toyota, 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 Toyota yeah. Urban Cruiser. Correct, and this is the XR spec, eh? the top, the upper spec version. Upper spec, but it's the manual version. Yeah, yeah, five-speed manual. Uh, Which is a bit of an odd uh, one, let's, let's be honest. Uh, yeah. Everybody these days prefers a, a six-speed uh, manual. Well, you, you do notice it when you are cruising on the highway. Correct. It revs a bit higher than I think you and I like, eh? Youngsters want to rev the mm, out of an engine. Yes. Uh, at 120, you're doing like three and a half thousand revs or something like that. But you know what? This is an unburstable engine. It doesn't. It's not going to harm the engine. No. It's just uh, we're not used to it, kind of thing. Correct. But it has got the other derivative. It's got the uh, the auto oh, yeah. version, which we're going to drive in a while. Uh, the next leg of the of this driving. But I've got to say, look, it's comfortable. It's smooth. Yeah. It's one of those things, and one of those cars, what it says on the tin is exactly what it delivers. Yeah. That I've picked up almost immediately. So so one of the first things that I noticed when I got in the car, yeah. and obviously we know the backstory already, but yeah. it's, it's, it sort of poses a few questions. And the fact is that it's not as well specced as the, the very good looking Suzuki Grand Vitara, which is on the same platform. That we uh, that was launched last week. Well, not just the same platform. Uh, it's the good old story of brothers from another mother. Correct. Uh, you know the badge engineering situation, etc. The interesting thing is that, as far as I'm aware, of the Suzuki Toyota twinning, this is the first one built in the Toyota factory in India, not the Suzuki factory. Correct. So look, it's solid. It feels good. It feels solid. As you would expect from a Toyota, it feels well put together. So obviously it begs the question, which I yeah. mean, I, I immediately sort of thought, what the hell, mm. is why mm. the Toyota Urban Cruiser is lesser spent? Because there's the Corolla Cross. Yes. So just to, 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 to sort of qualify that point, yeah. in the past, uh, Toyota's always taken, I think, up to a 20% premium on the JV uh, products that they have with um, Suzuki. Yeah. This time they came out, and I'm not sure exactly what the percentage is, but there is, it's mar- cheaper for the first time. They're marginally cheaper, by a yeah. small amount, but they are cheaper. But, as you've just said, especially on the GLX version of the Suzuki and the XR we're in on the Toyota, there is a lot more spec on the Suzuki version. Okay, again, I, I, I beg the question to you. Why yeah. is that? I said the Corolla Cross. Yes. If okay. they added all the spec, the price would go up, okay. and they'd be crossing over with the cross. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone knows no manufacturer wants that kind of situation to happen. Yes, they don't want them to buy down. Yeah. And also remembering the fact, and I'm, I'm, this is my speculation and opinion, is that the Corolla Cross is locally manufactured. Yes. They obviously. Toyota South Africa, I would assume, want to protect their locally produced car. Correct. So I, so I think the, the one for me, uh, and obviously history will, will mm. recount this, no. is I, I don't know if a, a marginally uh, less price is going to actually cut it. Because this car, I mean, we looked at it just now. Mm. I, I don't think you drove the Suzuki, but I, I did. Mm. And it is really well specced. It's a good looking car. So, you know, then it's gonna, it's, it's so close that. But there's I one think thing, the, the there's one thing you're leaving out here, Laurie. I'm sorry, that? I've got to interrupt you. Yes? It's breaking down since the Chinese onslaught. 
but South Africans are brand conscious and brand loyal. Mm. And as good as and as good as the Suzuki sales have got lately, there's still there's a reason why Toyota hold a 30% market share in South Africa. Yeah, that has been historic for yeah. many, many years. And, and it hasn't gone up. down lately either, even with the Chinese onslaught, for example. Quite correct. So there is still this massive, massive percentage of the market that will buy the Toyota badge over anything else. Yeah, and they've got a big dealer footprint, which is probably three, four times the size of Suzuki. They got you. It is, yeah. I mean, they've got 220 or something mm. dealers in South Africa as opposed to, I think, 90 odd. Correct. So those are the reasons the Toyota badge will sell, mm. and it always will. And I don't know. I don't know if you've done any research on resale. There is the legend that the Toyota will hold a better resale value. I, I don't know if it's I true de- or not. I definitely think so. Yeah. Um, a girlfriend of mine has just bought uh, the Vitara, yeah. which was the the previous JV, if you want to call it, the, the, the Brezza, the smaller one. Yeah, yeah. The, mm. yeah. Sorry, it wasn't the Vitara. It's yeah. A Vitara Brezza. Okay. So and yeah, you know, she's she's very happy with the car. Um, you know, I think uh, she bought it for quite a good price. I mean, a good price, I meaning a good price for Suzuki. So yeah. I think it was pre-owned. So, so it, it certainly seems like they're getting, they're commanding good prices for them. Okay, now this. And I mean, that is a car that is actually being phased out, if you yeah, want to call it. Yeah, that. it's a, it's the previous generation. Yeah. So normally That's the point, those, yeah. are, those are discounted. So yeah. this one wasn't. Okay, but now what you got to look at is what's the difference here? The outside, it's modernized, it's definitely grown a little bit, mm. as every every manufacturer, when they bring in the next generation lately, grows their cars. Yeah. And this one has grown up, there's no doubt. Yeah, uh, it is bigger. I've got to say, behind the wheel in particular, I'm very comfortable. And I'm going to use that term. Yes, I think, uh, mm. I th- look, it's, it's, a, it's a decent drive. Mm. It's a nice drive. Um, it's functional. I would say yeah. that the inside is functional. Yeah. Um, you know just what? having a look at this, this is a little bit uh, sort of yeah. out, you know, yeah. and yeah. it's yeah. sort of out, it's not as integrated as it could be. For for want of a South African term, it's plucked on top as yeah. opposed to integrated, yeah. But, um, and the drive feels good, I mean, certainly in the manual um, yeah. iteration, it seems to be, it's got like a little bit of oomph. It's got enough to satisfy most people. Because if you look at the kilowatt yeah. output, mm-hmm. it's, it's 77, it's, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, that's quite low. And you know, one, you, 150. I think it is Newton meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's it's very average on paper. Boot is uh, is actually quite sizable. Yeah. yeah, and back seat space is decent. But you know what? We're missing one thing. What's that? Read the name on the badge. Toyota. No, the next one. Urban, Urban cruiser. cruiser. Yeah. Is it built for the open road, or is it built for town use? Now these, I don't think, have got all grip, huh? No. Uh, so that's the big difference between the Suzuki and the Grand Vitara and this one. Because the all grip, mm. they have got the all grip, which they took us on very challenging roads. Okay. And um, this one is not. So this is this is totally a an urban car. The second thing, saying, yeah. second thing, I, you can come back to your point, yeah. but that I've noticed is that the fuel consumption mm. up until this point seems to be a heck of a lot better. Mm. It's down in the sevens, whereas yeah. we were, when we finished, we were up in the upper eights. Okay, interesting. And they were claiming sixes, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, upper eights. Okay, let's see what we end on. Mm. And I'd also be very interested, we're going to drive the autos after lunch, yeah. I so, want to see how so those yeah, compare. And, and that will be the direct comparison yeah. because we were driving autos all the time uh-huh. and we were driving the all grip which yeah. would be the top uh, variant. But look, hang on, just let's qualify. That all grip that you're talking about which has got the mild hybrid, yes. all grip and it goes to a six speed auto as opposed to a four speed mm. is about 150 odd thousand rand more yeah. than the upper spec like this one. Okay, so but the man in the money. street would assume that because it's a hybrid, yeah. he's going to be getting better fuel consumption. That's and that said, was not that's the why case. Said, that's why I said a mild hybrid. That was not the case. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so we found out subsequent that in actual fact, the the actual engine, the, mm. the hybrid engine is running ancillaries. 
which is your water pump and this and that. And that. Okay. So it's really like, um, oh, it's a bit mad, you know. Because I read somewhere that the output is almost identical. There's no actual increase in the kilowatts when yes. on, the, on the hybrid yes. version, which surprised the heck out of me. Yes. Yeah. So what you're saying now makes sense. It's it's actually not a, it's not an engine hybrid. No. It's an auxiliary hybrid. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Laurie, we'll get back to everyone a bit later. Okay. Uh, All right. Cheers. cheers.